Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about my 10 favorite trout flies to be catching those hogs. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite streamers, my favorite nymphs, as well as my favorite dry flies. But before I do, please like and subscribe to my channel guys. This really helps the YouTube algorithm and it pushes my videos to more of you guys so you can see more tips and tricks and ultimately get more fish in that net. All right, let's start with my favorite nymphs. This is usually how I start when I get to the river. I'll start nymphing, I'll start prospecting, and I'll see if I can get a couple in the net to feel confident enough to move on to something else. I'm going to come get up close and personal with you guys so I can show you these nymphs right close to the camera. So the first one I have here guys is the red wire worm. This thing has caught more fish for me than any other hook in my box and I know it's by some considered a cheap way to fly fish but at the end of the day when you're just trying to get fish this is one of my favorite things to tie on. The next one I have here is the big golden stone. This is a really buggy looking stone and this elicits a lot of reaction out of a lot of hungry fish. They're looking for a giant meal and this comes when this comes swinging by, they're really interested in it. The next one I have, and no fly box is complete without it, is a small copper john. Copper johns do awesome for me, especially under a larger stone fly imitation and something that catches a lot of trout. Sort of playing off that copper john is another kind of imitation, but it's really buggy. It's got a lot of legs, and I found that the more legs something has, the better it does. Instead of just having a simple nymph, this copper john imitation with a lot of legs does really well for me. The last nymph I have, guys, is this little lightning bug. It's really green, it's really flashy, especially when it's a, a bright day, catches a lot of trout for me. Next, let's move on to some of my favorite dry flies. This has been called a few different things, maybe a fat albert, maybe a stimulator, but the benefit of this is that it's very, it's made of foam, so it stays on top of the water very easily, especially if you're trying to fish a dry dropper under it. The underneath color can differ uh, depending on which ones you get, but it has a lot of legs, it imitates a lot of different things, whether it be a grasshopper, a big stonefly, or whatnot. The next one I have, guys, is the green drake. It's got a big puff of blue on the top, so it's really easy for me to see but it's caught a lot of trout for me. Finally, my last favorite dry fly is actually a flying ant. So I fish a lot of mountain streams that have a lot of terrestrials around, and this thing does wonders for me. It's got a couple wings, a big pink poof on the end to help me see it through all the rough water, uh, but underneath it just looks like an ant. Finally, let's move on to some of my favorite streamers. This is a Crelex minnow. It's got a lot of flash. It's got pretty weighted head, so it gets down really fast and into aggressive trout's territory. Next, I love these big articulated streamers. This one uh, could be called a circus peanut, regardless of the name. It catches a lot of fish because of the size of it. A lot of bull trout go after it and a lot of huge, aggressive, territorial trout go after it. My last favorite streamer is this big white ice pick. So it's got a little bit of red under it. It's got some brown on the top, but basically I fish this anytime there's white fish in the system. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 favorite flies to fish when going for trout. Hopefully they will help you guys catch more trout, especially larger trout. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps us push this farther to you guys. Until next time, tight lines.